Hello and welcome! Today we're going to take a look at Nutanix Mine with V. Before we get started with the demonstration, let's discuss what Nutanix Mine with Veeam is. Nutanix Mine is a purpose-built backup solution that offers all of the benefits of Nutanix's distributed architecture, one-click simplicity, and rapid time to value, along with Veeam's robust backup capabilities. Anything that Veeam can backup, Nutanix Mine with Veeam can backup, including Nutanix AHV, VMware vSphere, and Hyper-V workloads, whether those workloads are running on Nutanix clusters today or traditional infrastructure. Mine with Veeam supports the ability to store backups locally on the Mine secondary storage or to any S3 compatible object storage, whether it's Nutanix objects or in the cloud. Let's go ahead and walk through a demonstration on how to deploy the Mine system and backup virtual workloads. Let's go ahead and launch my Mine console here. This is just a standard Prism interface. Log in with admin. I've gone ahead and staged it and uploaded a, uh, an image already I wanted to show you settings under image configuration you'll see here mine Veeam foundation it's 50 gigs so with that uh, image I'm gonna go ahead and provision a new VM Let's say create VM we'll call it setup VM mine I'm gonna go ahead and give it four vCPUs and eight gigs of RAM I say add new disk we can clone from that earlier image that we uploaded Let's say add Let's say add new Nick add save our VM. So before we power it up, I do need to extend that disk that was cloned. I have to give it 100 gigs. So I'm going to go ahead and modify that disk, change that to 100 gigs. This allows the uh, setup VM to unpack any binaries it might need to during the setup process. So give it a minute here to provision and then power on. So this setup VM, it's only used for the original deployment of, of mine. So you can delete it when you're done. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you some options. If you do leave it, it does uh, give us some additional options. So we'll let it boot up here. You can see uh, we want to make sure we grab the IP. So let me log in. Grab the IP here. Looks like it's dot uh, one thirty. All right. So we're gonna open a new tab. And navigate to that uh, one thirty address, and the port is eighty seven hundred. Go ahead and log in again. Same credentials with so Veeam for the user and Veeam for the password. Say sign in. Close that. Go ahead and say setup. So here's my EULA. I'm going to click scroll through this. Say next. So I need to add my mine cluster in here. I give it a quick description. And then just enter some credentials so that the setup VM can communicate with the, the cluster. You can see here it's queried the CVM. So that all looks correct. So let's click next. Go to browse and go ahead and browse to some Windows Media, which will be used for the Windows components. Click next and upload. Just take a minute to upload. validating the media. So you see I have three options, to deploy a new VBR, to deploy a new VBR and import a configuration file, or use an existing VBR. I'm going to go ahead and leave the default option to deploy a new VBR. So go to our license file here. It's validated. So now I just need to enter the IP information for my various Veeam components. If this works just like Nutanix Foundation, where it actually pre-populates all the IP addressing, which you can see in the table below. We'll have uh, three Windows nodes and three Linux nodes. Uh, the first Windows node is our master VBR, the other Windows nodes are the proxies, and then the remaining Linux nodes are the repos, uh, which is actually our storage or repositories. So go ahead and enter my Windows administrator credentials here. This is for the Windows components. Enter my password. Click Next. So uh, the, the full deployment takes about an hour. I've gone ahead and sped it up so we don't have to wait. Uh, just know that it does deploy all of the components, configures the underlying storage, including the Nutanix containers, the Nutanix volume groups, attaches it to the repo or repository VMs, and sets up the VBR uh, for the scale-out repository. So we've completed here. Let's go ahead and launch into our dashboard. So going to log into Prism again. Enter my password. And here's the Nutanix Mine dashboard. So obviously it's pretty empty right now. We haven't set up any backup jobs. Let's go ahead and uh, deploy a vSphere backup job. So this is our VBR. Let's log in with those Windows credentials we had specified earlier. So we're going to go ahead and launch our Veeam backup and replication console. This is the uh, VBR main console here. This is where we configure uh, vSphere and Hyper-V as well as physical workload backup jobs. So we'll go ahead and click connect, launch our console. You can see uh, the mine appliance has gone ahead and reconfigured all of our repositories as well as our backup proxies here. So that's all configured with the VBR for us. And it set up a scale out repository using those, those repo VMs deployed on the Nutanix mine box. 
let's go ahead and go to manage servers. We want to add vSphere as a uh, as a backup source. So I'm going to right click and say add server. Select vSphere. Select vSphere again. Just go ahead and enter the DNS name for vCenter. Click next. So I need to add credentials. I'm going to follow best practices here and use a service account which I've configured in Active Directory. Go ahead and accept any certificate warnings there. All right. So we've now configured vSphere as a backup source. So let's go ahead and set up a backup job. Now you can see vSphere under Manage Servers. I'm going to go ahead and expand the window. Click Home. I'm going to go to Backup Job Virtual Machine. So let's name our backup job Backup vSphere VM. Click Next click add here to the right. So you can see the vCenter I added earlier. I'm going to expand that vCenter. You can see the data center and then cluster and then all of my VMs and hosts. Let's go ahead and choose just CentOS 7 VM to backup and click add. Click next. So I'm going to change the backup repository. I want to use our Veeam scale out repository that was set up using our, our mine uh, repository VMs. And I'm also going to adjust my restore points and just change this to 7. Obviously uh, this is completely configurable based on Let's go ahead and say run this job automatically. Let's do it daily at 10 p.m. So leave the default option, click apply. And lastly, let's go ahead and just click uh, run this job when I click finish to go ahead and back up that VM. So I can go over and monitor the status of my, my backup job. Let's see, it's uh, backing up the VM now. All right, so looks like our backup job's finishing up here. Let's go ahead and head over to the mine console. I just wanted to highlight here we've got one idle job and then the event that the vSphere backup completed successfully. So let's go ahead and back up an HVVM now. So before we do so, we actually have to deploy the Veeam availability for Nutanix proxy. So I've gone ahead and uploaded that image already to this cluster. See, it's 50 gigs. Go ahead and go to VM. So just like before, I'm gonna go to VM, create VM. Let's go ahead and name it Veeam-Fan. We'll give it two vCPUs and two cores per the documentation, and then four gigs of RAM. And then we're going to clone that, that disk that we'd uploaded previously. Just need to add a new NIC. We'll use our default network there. Click Add. Click Save. And then we can power this VM on. So much like the Setup VM, this also is a Linux-based VM and is a proxy. Uh, essentially, it lets uh, Veeam talk to Nutanix AHV. So we're going to go ahead and power it on. Uh, it's going to grab a DHCP address. So we're going to have to grab that from the console once that comes up. So we'll wait for this VM to boot up here. All right, looks like our IRP address is dot one three nine. So we're going to open a new tab. Let's navigate to that dot one three nine. And it's port to eighty one hundred. I'm going to accept my certificate error. I'm just going to log in with admin admin, click install, accept my EULA here, click next, and enter my new password. So this is the password I want to set for my, my van. So go ahead and set a permanent host name, we'll name it the same as the VM, and the permanent IP address. Default gateway here. And our DNS server. Next, we'll review that and just click finish. It'll take a minute now. The van will actually reboot. And we'll be able to log in with the credentials that we had just set. So I'm going to log in with admin and then my new password. And then first things first, we have to install our license. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to the gear icon up here in the top right. And select appliance settings, license, install license. I'm going to upload my file here open and we're all set there from the licensing perspective. Next up let's add our AHV cluster here. So just like we did in the VBR with vSphere we're going to add our AHV cluster here. So I'm going to enter the DNS name. It's called series in our environment. Enter a service account just like we did with vSphere. Click add. And see it's queried there our version is 5.11. Then last step is we need to add our VBR server. 
So we're going to just add that by IP here. This VBR lives on Nutanix Mine. It was deployed by that setup VM earlier. I'm just going to use our default credentials here. Click Add. Okay, so now we're ready to set up a backup job. So we're going to click Add. Just like we did in vSphere, we'll call this Backup HV VMs. Click Next. Let's click Add here. And just like vSphere, you can see all of the VMs in the cluster. Let's choose this one. Next, I'm going to change our backup repo to the scale out repository. Click next, run it automatically. We'll also set this to seven just like we did before and say run when we finish here. So this will run through uh, just like it did from the VBR. The proxy appliance will back up the, uh, the VM here and store it in our scale out repository, which is on our Nutanix Mind box. All right, so the backup job succeeded. We're good. We can back up AHV, we can back up vSphere. See here our dashboard here idle jobs just like you could in the VBR. So thank you for watching. For more information, visit Nutanix.com forward slash mine.